Tonight, we're gonna get into the oddball section, the why are these here, the different stuff, the weird stuff. But before we get into that, jump on over to nobodysplaybook.com, check out what we've got going on over there. Now, let's get into the episode and look at some weird stuff. I'm Chad Oak with Nobody Else's Auto. We deal in classic and special interest cars and parts. We have over 1,100 classic cars in our salvage yard, and that's what we do and that's what we love. Thanks for coming by Nobody's Show. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, we're glad to have you here. And this is going to be the show for gearheads. We're going to talk about hot rods, muscle cars, customs, classics, trucks, cab overs. We may even get into some of the newer stuff into the 70s and 80s. We're also going to talk about gas pumps, signs, oil cans, toys, all types of automotive memorabilia. Because here at Nobody's Show, this is your show. We're going to be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 o'clock. Don't miss it. Now let's get into tonight's episode. Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Tonight we're going to walk around, walk around the different stuff, the weird stuff, the why is it here stuff. We've got a few cars that are just different. They're all kind of off in their own little section. Um, kind of some odd foreign stuff, uh, some German stuff, things like that. Don't have a lot of it, but it's different, it's weird, and it's here. So thought you guys might like to see it. First thing here in the corner, a Carmen Ghia. These are really a unique looking little car. They were Volkswagens made them in the 60s. Ghia designed the bodies. And they're really a unique car and they're a pretty good looking little car. This is a little coupe. Uh, these were available in Roadsters also. But uh, they were just a really unique looking little car. It's hard to mistake them for anything else. They were such a such a special design and so different than anything else on the road. You know, this is back in the 60s when people are used to big cars. And this was a small, very elegantly kind of little sporty design type car. So definitely something different that you don't stumble across every day. So when we found it, we wanted to bring it in and line it up here. Somebody will need something off of it one of these days. Behind the Carmen Ghia, we've got a couple of bugs. These are, uh, I believe, I think this is a late 60s era, this is a 70s era bug. Both fairly complete cars, some good sheet metal things left on them. This one had a factory sunroof in it. So, you know, the Volkswagens, they reproduce tons of stuff for these, but sometimes there's some weird things you need that you gotta get off a parts car. So, we've come across a few of them, brought them in, lined them up here. We've got them in case somebody needs something. In front of the bugs, 78 Porsche 924. There again, kind of out of the ordinary, not what we typically have around here, but uh, definitely different. They weren't a bad looking little car. They were sporty. Pretty much a complete car. And uh, you know, these are, there's still some of these out there on the road. You know, the car's now 40 years old. The 924s were always kind of unloved. But there again, it's four years old and they're getting harder to find. So come across this car, went ahead and brought it in and lined it up. Next to the Porsche, a couple more Volkswagens. These are rabbits, but they're not your average rabbit. These are diesel rabbits, which, uh, you know, these things were really kind of amazing. I mean, these things used to get like 40, 50 miles to the gallon. They'd run forever. So they're kind of unique little cars. So when we found these, especially being diesels, I wanted to bring them in, line them up, because this stuff is getting tough to find. The Rabbit was on a, really a unique car. They were a, definitely a very different design uh, than what most people were used to back in the late 70s and early 80s. But they were just a little compact car. They were small, they were light, and with the little diesels in them, they would go forever. So the fact that both these little cars here, the brown one and the white one were both diesels, we brought them in, lined them up, and kept them around. Still got the diesel badges on them even. The only thing misleading about that is the rabbit makes it look like it's quick and they weren't. They'd get good mileage, but they didn't get there quick. The last thing we've got in our oddball section, we've got a little MG Roadster here. I think this is like an early 70s era MGB. Don't know a lot about this car, but there's still a lot of good pieces there. Didn't want it to go to scrap. I know there's stuff somebody can use off of a car like this. Still got the wire wheels on it. And uh, it's definitely rough. Been sitting for a long, long time. The top bows are still in it for the convertible top. 
But uh, something that, once again, once they're gone, they're gone. If we line them up here and we keep them and we save them, when somebody does need something off of it, hopefully we still got it sitting here. So there's our kind of our weird section. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick with us if you didn't. We don't have much of this. This is kind of the only section of it, but it was different. We thought we'd throw it in there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And thanks for being here and thanks for watching. We really appreciate it.